In this question, I'm asked to solve this given second order equation, y double prime plus 4y equals a delta function of t minus 3. So that's just a pulse of unit 1 at t equals 3. And I'm given initial conditions, y of 0 equals 1 and y prime of 0 equals 0. I'm going to use Laplace transforms to solve this second order equation. So let's just start by taking the Laplace transform of each term in the equation. I'm going to start off with y double prime. So let's recall that the Laplace transform of the second derivative of a function is s squared f of s, where f of s is just the Laplace transform of the parent function, minus s times f of 0 minus f prime of 0. So here I'm going to get s squared f of s minus s minus 0. Okay, and then the Laplace transform of 4y is just going to be 4f of s. And then I need to take the Laplace transform of this delta function. And here I have the general form for the Laplace transform of a delta function at t equals a, and it is e to the negative a s. So here I can identify a to be 3, so its Laplace transform is going to be e to the negative 3s. So now let's just put all of these back into the original equation. So I have the Laplace transform of y double prime, s squared f of s minus s plus 4 f of s equals 3, excuse me, e to the negative 3s. And I want to solve for f of s. I'm going to go and move this s over to the other side by adding it to both sides. And now I'm going to go ahead and factor in f of s out of this side. So I'm going to get f of s times s squared plus 4. And then divide both sides of the equation by s squared plus 4 to solve for f of s. So I've got e to the negative 3s over s squared plus 4 plus s over s squared plus 4. Now I just want to take the inverse Laplace transform of each term. So I'm good on the second term. This is the Laplace transform of cosine of 2t. And over here, I need to go ahead and pull out that e to the negative 3s. It looks like that's going to give me a step function in my original equation. And I'm left with 1 over s squared plus 4, which is really close to the Laplace transform for sine of 2t. I just need a 2 in the numerator. So I'm going to put that 2 up there, and multiply the whole thing by a 1 half to compensate. And now I can just take the inverse Laplace transform of that, and I'm going to get a step function at t equals 3 times sine of 2 quantity t minus 3. Because remember, I need to replace that t with t minus 3. And add that cosine of 2t. And I'm all set, and this is my equation for y.